We're in. All right, welcome to the podcast. This is a Pesh cast. Fucking, what's the date today? It's the fourth, the fourth, fourth of October. I thought the Joker film came out on the fifth. That's why I'm so fucking confused. It d- in it Australia, mate. Today. In Australia, maybe. Yeah, maybe it'll be the fifth. I, I'd assume. By you now. sure? Yeah. You yeah. sure it came out today? No, I apparently it came out a couple of days ago. No, it came out today, this morning. Today here. Uh, pretty sure, yeah. I had a friend back home who said he went and saw it the other day. I was like, what? I didn't know about yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen all sorts of shit on uh, Facebook and social media. I'm like, what's going on? About it. Yeah, about it. Like, and I'm just like, and it's all positive shit, right? Yeah, yeah, all positive shit. Like, I'm like, don't give any fucking spoilers away. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't know anything about it yet. So. I hear Oscar talk. That's what I hear. Like, he's that good that he's going to do an Oscar. Oh, absolutely. And that's fucking, that's saying something after the Heath Ledger's thing. Anyway, who have we got on the mics? I'm. I'm Choker. We got a, a Dutch, a Dutch slash Australian friend over yeah, here. Yeah, there we go. Um, my name is Jos. Hey, hey, well, yeah, you can't me. pronounce it. You can't pronounce Jos. it. Yeah, Jos. Basically. There As we in go. The J is Jos. 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 Could that also translate to Jos? No, nah, it always translates. And this is the shitty thing about my name. Like every time I introduce myself to someone who isn't Dutch speaking, uh, especially if it's girls, they always hear that I'm saying I'm yours. <laughs> Which is so, oh, hang on, hang on. so you accidentally thrown a a, a a pickup line. So actually, I work with international students. So the first thing after they're jet lagged, they come to Amsterdam. The first thing that happens is they meet me, and I'm like, "Hey guys, I'm yours." And they're like, "What the fuck is this guy on about?" Spit forward. Yeah. So. Fuck my name, I need, please give me a nickname like you have, like uh, I need something you, like that. We can give you a nickname, but that comes out in the wash. It does, doesn't it? Yours. Yours. We'll start with yours. yours. So basically I just introduce myself as Josh. Josh without an H or Josh, Just That's hit, fine. The, hit the J sound, you'll be fine. Yeah, beautiful. Alright. Uh, who else we got here? We got Ben or Bozza. Bozza? Bozza. Bozza. Is that... Uh, the origins of that nickname definitely coming from home. They are coming from your, home. Is that yeah. your footy nickname? That was my footy nickname. Uh, there we go. Bozza. Bozza. Uh, What's a Bozza? Uh, well, my surname is Boric, but um, they uh, generally, everyone in footy just used to call me Boz or yeah, the enough. Bosniak. It's very simple with Australian nicknames, right? You take your surname, your family name, you chop it in half if you have to, if it's too long. So if you're Greek, you definitely fucking cut it in half. Yeah. And then you add an O or an R or an E at the end. And usually that's the way it works. So what was your surname, Ben? Boric. Now what's that background? Is that... Uh, it's Croatian. Cro- I was going to say... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say... Yeah. Cro- so what was it again? Sorry? Boric. Boric. And then hence we have Boza. Boza. So yeah. or the My- Bosniak. The one and only. <laughs> 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 All right, yo, what about you? Morgan. Morgan huh? James. What? Morgan. Morgan. Yes. Morgan. Mr. Jones. Jones. M- Morgan Jones. Yeah. It sounds. You made that up, sure. No, 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 it's from The Walking Dead. Wait a minute. You were named after a character from The Walking Dead? <laughs> you named How after. old are you? <laughs> 18. Yeah, 18. Ah. Uh, hang on. No, it's no, not no, the 18th no, no, no. season yet. It's, what? Yeah, it's not been I'm, I'm confused. Yeah. No, Morgan. Or AKA Morgs. Morgs. Yeah. Morgs. Morgs. All right. Yeah, so cool. that's kind of following the rules a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chop like your name in half. Jonesy. Jonesy. Yeah. Jonesy, yeah, that's... Jonesy's that better. Is that definitely, sounds so good. Jonesy's definitely... An, that's what we would call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jonesy. Jonesy, that's ochre as fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonesy is yeah. fuck, yeah. Jonesy. If you were playing footy, yeah, yeah. we'd be definitely calling for the ball. No, going, Jonesy, dad, Jonesy, Jonesy, Jonesy. Jonesy. Dad on the rugby pitch, Jonesy. Yeah, you should play rugby. Yeah, yeah back right. in London. Yeah? Yeah. True? Yeah. Ah, all right. <laughs> we could. All right, so yeah, we don't, we don't have topics. We just talk about shit. So right. just fucking go with it. Yeah, um, now, you're, you used to live here. You live here yep. currently. Yep. And you've been here how long? Morgsy? Join Jonesy? Morgan? Three Morgan. days. Three, Three days. days. Three days. Been here at Sweet Hostel. We're at the Sweet Hostel, Sweet by the way. Hostel. Sweet Hostel in Budapest. I'm confused by the name Sweet. By the way, I know Arwen, so like I can give him shit. Mm-hmm. Like, a, like, what does the word Sweet mean? It's a sweet. It's, it's, it's a sweet. It's, like, sweet. it's like an en sweet yeah. type en-suite, thing. Yeah. Well, like a suite, it's like, you know, you go to a hotel and you get a suite. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nicer standard of room, technically, but... Um, yeah, and then you walk in here and <laughs> find out it's, it's a it's fucking a artist. Of, uh, <laughs> it's an art thing. It's a bit of a pun as well, it's a, it's a sweet hostel, like, as in it's, it's a yeah, sweet yeah. place. I mean, it's sweet. 
Minus the squeaky fucking beds. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely know yeah, someone's rooting, true. that's for sure. Yeah. For, just to kickstart, I reckon we should come up with a better name for this hostel because I don't reckon Sweet that captures the heart of this place. Like, when I first, like... Because he used to have a place around the corner from here called Sweet Hostel. That's where he originally kind of mm-hmm. rolled at. You're right. Um, and the vibe was not sweet. It was fucking better than sweet. It was different. Mm. It was just like... It was like this. Like, he brings a real artistic kind of flavour to things. You look yeah. at the walls, you got... Cunt's fucking putting up nice artwork. You got well, like all this. This was a French guy who came and stayed with him for a while, and he just anyone fucking said, you, "Anyone can see what it is." Or what? what um, how would you describe so this for the for our listeners who are not listening? It looks like a sadistic old man bird eating a boat. Really, that's about it. And there's a train. <laughs> 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 to be fair, you're summing up quite good. Yeah. Like. Basically, he pictured Mr. Burns with a beak eating a fucking boat and a train. He's shitting out a train. Shitting out a train. There's Mr. Yeah, he loved. And he did the other one in the kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. There's definitely orifices getting like uh, getting things coming out of orifices here. But where I'm confused is the fact that he's got a band aid where his arsehole should be, and the train's coming out of the side of him, and there's a straw in the swimming pool. Who'd There's want a straw in a swimming pool. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Drink from that. Someone could have fucked in that. You know, like, look. Oh, de- definitely. This is Budapest. Right. There's a story Absolutely. there. Yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, by the way, who's been to the hot, hot spas and oh, done the whole hot yeah. spas? I most yeah. certainly have. And um, yeah, it was good fun, but um, I had to wash away my sins <laughs> shortly after. <laughs> oh, did you have sins in the actual, in the tub? No, I just... The, the ones from others, the, lent, the ones I lent from others. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just give the first Budapest advice. Don't go to the spa parties. I've heard so many shit stories about them. But have you actually been to one? No. See, I haven't. Have you? Ben, you must have. I have, yes. Oh, okay. How was it? Is it true? You went, you went, we've got, side, we've got people on the sides, by the way. Shit gets really messy and... But um, is it true that it's literally 90% guys just... Yes, it is, pretty much. ...groping <laughs> underwater? Yeah, it's pretty much just guys. It's, it's a, basically a pool full of cocks, like, it's not really... It's a cock party. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking swimming dick fest, basically, like... But, that, but here's the situation, if I was, like, I'm a dick, I show up, I see a bunch of guys in a pool, I turn around and walk the fuck out. I wouldn't be interested in dipping into that shit. Who would get into Especially that if there's the like place. if there's one or two fucking hotties around and uh, they're all getting kind of, you know, hunted by these packs of uh, men in uh, this, tights. These horny fucking budgie smuggler wearing yeah. cunts, yeah. like just all after the two oh, birds, insane. they're just like, it's oh so yeah. Ins- it sounds insidious. Like fair game, yeah. Oh. How would you like to be slapped with about a hundred cocks, <laughs> love? Imagine like, the yeah, women. You wouldn't, would you? It would be that, fucking horrible. The girls who show up there must be like, holy fuck, what have we got ourselves into? Like, yeah, so I met this girl yesterday and she actually, like, it's her birthday tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and she wanted to go to one of those pool parties just Ooh. for her birthday. And I said, like, for her birthday? Well, maybe. Like, you're going to get a gift, but I don't think that's the one you're after. So, like, <laughs> literally, like, just see, might not be the best thing to do. Who's the daddy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to be fair, in those swimming pools, you never know. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, like, imagine being a child uh, produced from one of those events. <laughs> Like there, must how you can see. there must be children. There must be children walking this earth. Like my, da- my mum walked into a, just dipped into a fucking pool full of semen and just dipped out and yeah. just can't tell who was the. <laughs> line them up. Let's see whose eyes. That's match. why the straw is in there, just to like suck it all out. And uh, yeah, right. Yeah, that makes perfect sense now. I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's right, so a that guy that actually ejaculated into a pool and is now a father of like 10 kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, you still have a chance. You still have a chance to become a dad. That's yeah, basically it. It, it. it happens. Why pay to go like <laughs> fucking like artificially inseminate when you can when just you can why pay for it? Like just <laughs> just <laughs> <into a spa. laughs> jump in the pool, fucking pull your flaps. Just dive in, legs open. Whoop. Exactly. Impregnation imminent. Now there's also. Oh, can you do that again? Sorry, can we make this? Oh, can we yeah. make this a sound bite? Oh, we can actually. All right, let's do that now. All right. How do you do it though? We're just gonna like. Oh. Yeah, 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 that's so sweet. I love that fucking shit. All right, hang on a sec. No, oh, no, I think we have to wait. Yep, yep, yep. Nah, no, fuck, we'll do it later. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, what about the cape? Because when like, I came here in 2013. Yeah. And yeah. Alan, myself, uh. And to a South African and a guy from New York, Josh and Lawrence, we ended up fucking at this cave party. 
Oh, yeah. Now it was out of town. It was on a. We had to go to. I think it was one of the squares. Now I can't remember the name, and I can't pronounce. I can't fucking. Hungarian is the worst fucking language in the world. Can we just get Definitely, that out there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Look at the way. Look at how the length of the words a. It has no correlation at all. There's like every letter is surrounded by a fucking tilde. Egg is sugar, isn't it? Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, that's how we say cheers here, right? Yeah, that's it. All of that is cheers. So that can we just do one? Egg is sugar, isn't it? 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 Cheers, mate. But yeah, like, dude, some. it's so hard to fucking like read the language. Can you, because if you're Croatian, Ben, you got like, can you speak other languages? Are you kind of like first in like, Cro- in Croat and stuff? No, like I can, I can say a few words here and there, or um, you know. But, I was gonna like, say you must pick up shit if, if, with your travels, surely. Yeah, like I, I can speak a bit of Japanese, um, not quite fluently, but conversationally, and also same with Swedish. I can speak like conversational Swedish now. Swedish. Too. Yeah. So, coming back to Hungarian, I actually have that problem. So apparently Dutch sounds a little bit like Hungarian. Like not in a way that's related at all, but apparently me talking Hungarian, I lived here for a year, I sound Hungarian, but that brings a problem with it. So I can say, like I can order two beers, I can order uh, whatever drink or some yeah. vegetables at the market, yeah. but the moment you order something and they talk back to you, you have no clue what they're saying. So no, I, I sound no, very yeah. fluent. No. I sound very Hungarian, yeah. which is a good thing until the moment they talk back to you, because then you're like, uh, uh, you can suck a dick. You can suck a dick. That wasn't just me here. Yeah, okay, yeah, like it was subliminal. Like you like literally a, said yeah. it. You're like, can we try that? You can suck a dick. Is that how it sounds? You can suck a dick. You can suck a dick. Sugar you sugar dick. can suck a dick. But then you, you miss the, you got the sugar, 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 yeah. sugar that you got to miss. So you next time, sugar instead dick? of saying you, you can suck a dick, dick? Oh, you next can sugar dick. Oh, oh, what is it? Sugar, like as in sugar, like you can sugar dick. 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 Let's try that in our travels here. Let's just test it out with locals and see if they notice any difference. Exactly. You can sugar dick. Next time, next time, you just share it with the group. Just slip. You can sugar dick. You can sugar dick. And if we get, if we get a couple of raised eyebrows and we know we're off the top we're off the, the accuracy chart um yeah this cave party man i don't know how like uh, ask Alan about it so it is it a cave party as in insane we caught a bus from a from a square somewhere it took us out into um somewhere out there you know they've got fucking caves and limestone but is it too. one of the caves that actually is like a wine storage place no, no. they took us it was an excavation site mm-hmm. so it was like a fucking huge pit in the ground and the caves kind of moving off it, and each cave had like a different DJ set up. Oh, that's really cool. And we were just wandering around this surreal, surreal surroundings, little fucking lights and lasers, like like just projecting along these rock walls and shit. And even Arwen was a bit bamboozled by it. I don't think he'd ever been to one. Yeah, that's nuts. And, and so like we spent the whole night there. The fucking sun rose. We were just sitting on the edge of these like on these cliffs with the DJs playing behind us, just fucking you know, yoga sugar drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and um, fuck, I remember like, <sighs> what drugs did we take that night? <laughs> I can't remember. But I remember wandering the streets in the morning. Just everyone had gone home, and uh, oh, that's right. On the bus ride back, because they take buses out there, so mm-hmm. on the bus rides back, someone was passing some shit around, and I took something, and I remember getting off the bus, and then we're all meeting at the square, and I, as I was walking to the square, I just remember thinking, whatever I've taken, it's coming up, and I just went, <laughs> like that, uh, fucking vomited all over the place. Power chunder. That was a power chunder for sure. Yeah, it was After that, it was fucking on. Like, I was just walking around going, this place is the tits. This guy brought out a joint, had one of those, and then I just wandered the streets for the next few hours, walking. And it was just one of those sunrises where something about Hungary or Budapest, mm-hmm. the facades, the building facades, mm. like they're just chunky, right? Yeah, they they're are. just chunky. And when, and when at a certain time of, of morning, when the sun hits, and you see those the the carving of the shadows along those facades, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm in heaven. Like this place is heaven. I've landed in heaven, mm. high as fuck." So yeah, you know, to like, be fair, like, that could be anywhere, but. I just that, I have a recollection of that, and um, I don't know if they still do these things. They've been. Do you know what I'm talking about? These fucking cave parties. Do they I've happen anymore? I've or? heard about uh, cave parties, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Like not not here as such, but definitely in Croatia. I know that in the Croatian islands there are some mental fucking cave parties. Um, True. And I've heard a lot of good things about them, and uh, you know, like, well, like where? Like, okay. isn't there one big like festival? In even? Ha- down in Havar, apparently there's yeah. one in Havar. Um, 
and they like put like a baseball helmet on you and they just smash pipes and bottles over your head before you take a shot. That sounds like Australia. I, think it's called <laughs> like the, I can't remember, it's called, it's called like knockout bar or some shit like that. It's like, Wait a minute. basically surprised. they just belt you over the fucking head and then you take a shot. It's, it's bizarre. <laughs> fucking Croatians, man. Yeah. I have to admit. No sense, no feeling there, mate. No. My take on Croatians is, and in comparison to Hungarians, because when we, when we, well, last time I was here, we went, me and the boys, after that cave party, Josh and Arwen and um, Lawrence from South Africa, we were like, they were like, oh, we've got to go to Croatia. There's this fucking party going, like, there's this fest, music festival on in, in Croatia. Look at the fucking, look at the YouTube videos. And I'm looking at the YouTube videos and they're like wanking off about it. I'm like, look at this, look at the chicks. I'm like, dude, this is going to be a cock fest. Seriously, we're not going. Like, no, we've got to go, we've got to go. Yeah. So I said, all right, fine. So a few months later, we all went our separate ways and then we gathered again in Croatia. Mm-hmm. And we found Hungarians in that time, that first experience, we found mm-hmm. Hungarians to be quite, um, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah. yeah. You know Drax? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know nah, I'm lost in this oh, one. Oh, well. dude, you've never oh, seen Guardians oh, of the sorry, Galaxy? Sorry, mate. Oh. Bro, get a lot. Oh, oh, dude. The anyway, I, fa- I found Hungarians to be quite... Um, oh, thick would be too harsh, I'd say. But, like, they would kind of, like, not get... Maybe they did, but they wouldn't get, like, metaphor. They would take things literally. Mm. Whereas the Croats, when we got there, we had the extreme opposite. Like, everything they said, we just couldn't, like, take seriously. But... <laughs> They would just push things. They were the most sarcastic fuckers ever. Oh, mate, they've got similar banter to Aussies and they really, they hang a lot of shit on they everyone. They do. Like, and great. they push it so far. Like, we were at, yeah. we, when we went to this fucking, eventually being, it was a fucking cock fest. It was ridiculous. And yeah. we were just walking around and I was just like, I told you, I fucking told you. <laughs> All these German boys just, you know, do, 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 like, and it's pissing down rain and fucking like all these concrete fucking yeah. stonewashed fucking areas. What was the festival called? Yeah, Wet where Lads? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, it was just fucked. Was, was, that, like, was that Moist Boys back in 2006? Moist Boys, mate. Yeah. mate. <laughs> it was fucking Moist Boys all the way. But everyone, I love everyone, that so, festival. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucked. You talk, you talk about walking into a pool, like, pool and getting impregnated. It's just fucking there, it was the same deal. But um, like, we just found them so sarcastic, we couldn't get a straight answer out of anyone. Yeah, right. So the hostels that were there were like, so um, when's the bus to the airport leaving? Uh, today? Uh, oh, t- it's leaving tomorrow. Nah, very funny, yeah. What time is it leaving? Uh, it's leaving tomorrow. No, 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 yeah. I can see, like, you know, what you're doing. Can you just tell us what time? <laughs> tomorrow. And, like, they would be drop-dead serious. And you'd be like, dude, I know there's a bus to the airport today. Just tell us. And they would just push it and push it and push it until you just give up. And yeah. that's how fucked they were. I just, and it's found them the opposite ends of the scale. The Hungarians are kind of like, you know, a bit kind of literal. And the, the, the Croats were just like fucking super so sarcastic. You said your last name was Croatian, right? Yes, yes, correct. Do you have a Croatian passport or still I, some family? F- I don't have a Croatian passport. Mm-hmm. Uh, purely for the fact that um, I was going to apply when I was about 26. Mm-hmm. And... Um, They're like, oh, that's all good and well, but if you want dual citizenship uh, before you apply for your passport, you have to have uh, compulsory conscription. And so I was that's like, the no shit. And I was like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was really? like, well given that it's okay. uh, given that it's brief uh, history, not too long ago, <laughs> it's probably not a not a wise move. Like, you uh-huh. know, not really. I don't think Serbia will be too happy. You weren't about, ready uh, to die for your country. No. Fair enough. How long's the service yeah, for? A year? 18 months. 18 <laughs> months? Mm. 18. 18 months, yeah. That's oh, what shit. I was told, yeah. But now But I'd be sweet because I'm over the threshold yeah, yeah, kind of age because yeah. I'm 30 now. But um, yeah, like that's the only reason I've held off on it. Because But first like, of all, who of your family is from Croatia? What, what's going on there? So my, my father was born in, okay. in Croatia, in northern Croatia. Born uh, is his family also from there? Or? Yes. Yep. So he's uh, his father's actually Bosnian, mm-hmm. uh, but my grandmother Maritza, she is she's Croatian. Maritza, what yeah. a name! Maritza. And do you rem- uh, recognize like the thing he's saying about humor? The thing he's saying about absolutely. Like, yeah, I lived in Croatia for three months. Um, yeah, absolutely. Because you were in Zagreb, yeah. Yeah, and it's funny how I got here actually. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, uh, well, I, oh, I hang, on, <laughs> hang on, hang on. You got yeah, can't tell us. Tell us. Uh, right. So um, basically what happened is um, 
you know, I got offered this job at Hostel One here and um, I was like, kind of humming and hurrying, and I was like, yeah, am I going to do it or will I stay in Croatia? I had a paid job in Croatia. Um, long story short, um, I took everyone out for karaoke night on a Monday night and, um, you know, it was going to be, and I decided, yeah, fuck it, it's going to be my last night here, let's, let's get a bit messy, let's get drunk. And then all of a sudden, one of the boys that used to volunteer at the hostel um, just turned up. Um, we thought he was fucking back in Colombia or something. <laughs> and um, yeah, he turns up and he's like, he's, he's, he's a fucking ball ache, by the way. He's a, he's a cunt pain of a human. Oh, he's oh, a pain really? in the ass. He's not a cunt, but he's just annoying. Is fuck. he a trouble magnet? He's not a trouble magnet, but he's just uh, just an absolute sleazebag. He makes everyone feel uncomfortable, and he's just like he's too much, and he tries to impress everyone. But anyway, uh, I didn't he's give just a drainer. fuck. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a drainer, a bit of a ball ache, you know. Anyway, he, he comes up and he goes, "Oh, Don Bosniak, Don Bosniak," and I'm like, fuck, "Here we go, radio. <laughs> what do you want, mate?" He goes, "Oh, no, it's your last night. Blah blah blah. Let's party." I'm like, "All right, let's party." He goes, "All right, so here's the deal." I have about 100 mils of liquid LSD. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> Things are going to escalate, I feel. But, but they're at my hostel. Um, do you want to come with me? I'm like, unfortunately, Freddie, I can't come with you because um, I've got to look after the group that I've taken out. Everyone's paid to do this karaoke night yep. to get their free shots and to do whatever and to sing their fucking songs. And so anyway, Freddie fucks off and I didn't think he was coming back. Um, <laughs> about half an hour later, Freddie rocks up. Oh. And uh, he hand passed around yeah. this bottle. Uh, oh. everyone, 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 <laughs> That's hey, not I'm making connections here. It's not just the twenty odd people I had on the on the pub call tour. It's people in the bar as well <laughs> taking small sips. And there was about mm, let's say three quarters of a bottle left. And I thought, fuck it, down the hatch. Oh, did the shit. whole thing. You jumped on the wagon. What a journey. Did the whole thing and. Um, did, was everyone fucked? Like, I'm there, picturing, like, fear and loathing yeah. in Las Vegas. There was a, like, yeah, dude. yeah, there was a point where my friend Martin looked at me and he goes, I can pinpoint the absolute moment where your eyes grew. <laughs> 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 and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm like, you know what, mate? What? So could I. <laughs> I'm like, it's like... <laughs> I just, I just took a breath of air and I just like inhaled and I just felt my eyes grow oh my <laughs> and then everything changed. Um, was that the turning point? That was the turning point. And so anyway, um, You've seen it all now. So, <laughs> and were you still on the list of karaoke songs? Like what happened there? <laughs> Please tell me you did a karaoke song. Yes, yes, yes I you did. did. Oh, shit. Did. We all live in the yellow <laughs> zone. No, it no, it wasn't, it wasn't no Beatles number. It was actually uh, Killing in the Name of by Rage Against the Shame. Yeah. And um, I lost it halfway through um, because I thought the microphone was a robot. But penis. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait a minute, this isn't karaoke, this is fucking techno blowjobbing. Right <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of lost my mind a little bit. And um, anyway, I, I, cut the, I cut the song short and then I walked up to this American girl and I started making out with her and I'm just like, I'm like you know what? This, doesn't feel this well. isn't nice. <laughs> this isn't nice. <laughs> this isn't nice. And she just looks at me and she goes, well, how do we make this nice? <laughs> and um, did that throw you, or did you just? No, go with like it? I just went with it, and that was the whole thing for the whole night. Like we were just sitting outside trying to make your experience make nice. nice. <laughs> well, we were just trying to work out how we were going to make things nice, <laughs> just in general. And it was, it was the most bizarre thing ever. Like, Those and thought processes be doing it. Definitely. And then like, <laughs> and then I got caught. Uh, getting the gobby in the fucking uh, common room by the night shift guy and he's just like oh Jesus Ben it's your last night well I'm not going to be pissed off but fucking fair, fair game to you fair enough and, um, and then she fell asleep I went outside this um, I'm currently wearing a leather jacket this leather jacket that I'm wearing no shirt on had my bag around my shoulders wrote a sign saying Budapest and I left and I went and hitchhiked all the way here wow. so you left in the Wait middle of the night what time I left at about 6 a.m. in the morning, high off my dick on acid, on LSD, and I hitchhiked Fair all the game. way here. Fair game. Fuck How long did it me. take to get here? Seven hours. It took me seven hours to get here. Um, what what button is it? 
take a shit in there. Yeah, that, that deserves it. Nah, 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 okay. Wait, wait, no, which one are we going to say? The, no, the applause? Oh, yeah, the applause, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was walking around the highway uh, for several hours, and um, it, it took a while. I was tripping dick, so I was on the phone to my mates, and I'm like, cunt, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I'm at the Moulin Rouge right now. He's like, <laughs> it, goes, it sounds like you're on a highway. I'm like, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, can you remember the first truck? Yeah, that that's what I wanted to like, What's that? Can you remember the first ride you had? Yeah, the first ride I had was this like kind of like oh, 45, 50 year old Hungarian couple. Yeah. And they, they yeah. picked me up and I was just like talking to them and I'm like, hey guys, I'm really fucked right now. Do you smoke weed? <laughs> and they're like, and they're this like, is at yeah. 6 a.m. Yes. So, so, oh, so I was sharing a joint in their little fucking uh, oh. their little hatchback with them. <laughs> Um, on the way, and then I real, then they dropped me off at this fuel this fuel stop, this gas station, and I was like, "Fuck me, I need to get some food. I need to straighten myself out. I'm still kind of tripping dicks. This is fucked." And Did um, you realise that? Hang on a sec. I've made this decision to. Go to Budapest on a like on a whim. Like, did you just leave everything? Yeah, you were leaving anyway, right? I was, but not that day. I didn't plan to leave that day, but the LSD took over, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What's your name, mate? Max. Max, you want to jump in for me? I'm just going to go for Siggy. Just keep going. Fuck, that's insane. insane. How I got fuck. You arrived in Budapest the same way I did, except I wasn't high. I was just being chased out of fucking Belgrade by a nut fucking. Nut oh, yeah, leave us hanging like that. No, I'll come back. When you come back, back we need to hear that soon. Yeah. So. Yeah. What? How? How long did it take you to get to Budapest? Seven hours in total. So you actually managed that day? Yeah. No sleep. No sleep. High on LSD. Surely, surely <laughs> when, you, when you sparked up that joint with the couple, like, it must have like intensified your trip. Yes, it just brought me back up. That's all it did. Uh, that's all it does. Weed intensifies everything. I, I everything. thought, I was like, yeah, right, you know, it's probably going to just mellow me out a bit, but it, it, it did. And then it doesn't. But and then, then just, like, like I was just back up and kind of not... Not full trippy, not like crazy colours and shit like I was yeah. seeing before when I was on the highway, but um, it was it was still relatively intense. Like I was looking at things and uh, like people were talking to me and their voices almost sounded like Darth Vader's voice, and I was just like, okay. So may I ask you something? Yes, absolutely. You just told me just before we started this podcast uh, mm-hmm. that you got fired after the first day at your job. Yes. So did you by any chance tell this story to your new boss? I told it to no one. Okay, you, this is the first time you're talking about it. This is the first time I'm actually talking about wow. it. How does it feel? Like <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Like, I feel like it's good. It's good to like you know even my uh, get my, ready to get fired again. Even my best mate, um, I didn't tell. So like I just they just oh, shit. I just told him I was hitchhiking to Budapest. Apart from one mate, that random mate that I haven't spoken to mm-hmm. that I worked with at the pub that I was on the phone to. Um, I didn't tell any other people, like no close mates anyway. Because he like, was asking if you were on a highway. Yeah. So, to be really fair, like that sounds quite dangerous. It's oh, a bitsy. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What's Max the worst that can happen? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I may have missed this, but how much, like, like how strong was the tab you took? It wasn't a tab, it was pure liquid LSD. Oh, fuck. Okay. And I chugged about. Uh, a quarter like of the th- oh there's like yeah about a quarter of the thing so brilliant about let's say in the middle of water maybe about mm, how long were you tripping for um for about 13 14 hours oh fuck okay mm. that's insane yeah. so just to finish the story you were telling beforehand how you ended up in budapest and in, in this hostel yeah so i just quickly said that you got fired from your last job yes what happened there so um i basically I had something lined up when they came here. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I turned up, it was pretty much set in stone. So, but they knew you were gonna rock up that day because they also probably thought that you were gonna stay longer in Belgrade. Mm, uh, not that day in particular. So you they just were rocked expecting up. Expecting me the following day or the day mm-hmm. after. I can't remember now. But um, yeah, it was either that uh, the following day or the day after. But I turned up and. Um, um, it was, I was, I stayed one night and then the following day I was on a shift. I was on my night shift. So I worked a night shift with all the staff and there was no problem. All I got was great feedback, no dramas. 
And then the following afternoon, I woke up at about 1 p.m. Um, I did go on a boat party that night, by the way. Ah, um, that's something you left out last time? I Well, yeah, but like, because I sold so many fucking tickets for mm-hmm. it. I sold 25 tickets. Like, it was a decent effort on my first shift. But like, what's your night shift about? Like, is it that you need to stay in until the next guy relieves you? Well, it wasn't. It was like more of an afternoon shift, not quite a full night shift. It was like I finished at 11. Okay. So once I finished at 11, so you I, finished. Yeah, I went to the Fair boat enough. party. I met, just made it, basically. And um, yeah, so I went to do that and it was three hours all you can drink and yeah, it was pretty nuts. And um, So you woke up a little bit hungover, you were like, what's mm, happening? And like, no, I wasn't hungover, like I, I did go pretty hard, ha- like I went hammer and tongs at it, but... Um, LSD again? No, there's nothing like that, <laughs> I haven't done any drugs since I've been here, I've been a good boy, I've just uh, had a bit of alcohol here and there, but... Um, That's only the on, for sure. Only on like <laughs> your boat party and on free beer bus things that I've done because I work for them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's um, there was nothing like out of the ordinary and I just woke up and the boss had called me into the office and she was like, hey, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay, what's up? Why am I Probably giving you a raise because Uh-oh. you did so well. You like, told, sold all the tickets. I'm like, what's up? why am I off the schedule? And she's like, oh, well, look, it's not, it's not working out. I don't think you're the right fit for here. I'm like, but I've worked one shift. How does that make any sense? Can you please, like, can you please, um, <laughs> I'm like, can you please elaborate? Like, but she just didn't want the conversation. Like, so she kind of, um, kind of fobbed off the whole conversation, which is a bit. Fuck, mate. That's so it was, it was really annoying, and I just never got a straight so answer. So shout out to that hostel. Which hostel is it? Um, well, fuck them. I'm not gonna name and shame, but Hostel One Basilica, go suck my <laughs> dick, you bunch of cunts. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So, any of you guys, like, ever get a job you got fired from? Any good? Uh, I've never been fired from a job. It's just, I've only ever had two jobs. Mm. One, I was a, 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 wait, a waiter slash runner for about two and a half years. Oh, cool. I also worked in the kitchen. Oh, nice. Hot wash. Desserts. Anything you ever did that you maybe should have got fired f- because oh. of? Oh yeah. Like any like dropping oh, yeah. like a full uh, like thing of like no, I've never glasses of wines anything. over someone. Uh, no. I've only I've only waked up like oh, an hour and a half yeah, late for a shift, and okay. then uh, the chef's like calling me saying, "Where are you?" And, like, so yeah. what's the reason you turned up late? What happens? Just slept I, in? It's just slept in. Ah. And yes. I had to cycle Simple as that, man. Yeah. I don't know, what about the time you you ah, nearly um. You nearly uh, didn't go to work because we were like, we had we're on a massive come down from a big space. Trip. <laughs> oh, no. I was, I was meant to be on holiday for a week, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, during, like, in the middle of this trip, right, I get a text from um, one of my managers saying, can't wait to work with you tomorrow. We're opening together at 7 a.m. Oh, Jesus, start. right. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to turn my phone off right now, try and get some sleep. It's like 2 a.m. I'm like... That old chestnut. <laughs> yeah, we all know. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, we're me and Max trying to get some sleep. Just doesn't work. We're in this TP. <laughs> we go to my like, the village next to mine for the sunrise. Watch that. Watch the sunrise. Go back to my house. In my bed. Have no sleep all night. Just be up, just like, just like tripping balls, basically. And then think I about cool, everything. <laughs> just thinking about everything. Just like, <laughs> wow, this, this is happening to me right now. <laughs> and then I get a call from one of my managers saying, where, where are you? Where are you? You're meant to be in work right now. I'm like, you're meant to be on holiday right now, aren't I? And he's like, oh, no, you're meant to be in work at 7 a.m. It's like 10 past 7. I'm like, oh. Oh, fuck. And you were still like one hour out. Yeah, I'm like, did you did you end up going to work? I went to work on my come down. And, uh, How was that shift? How did that shift go? It wasn't that bad because I'm a barista, right? I, I, I don't I, think I will. I'm not, I'll just make coffees. I think you guys might. I'm just there, stood in front of okay. everyone, well, making well, coffees well, for well, people. Well, and I'm just no, like, right. Where are you guys going to? Uh, Man. Uh, I'm just thinking yeah. about what just happened to me for the past 13 hours. Shit. <laughs> 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 I'm just looking yeah. at the milk, just steaming milk, and just yeah. going round and round and round and round and round and round. I was like, wow. Yeah. That was one hell of a journey. Probably one of the trip. most like. That was like the most. That, yeah, that was that a life changing. Intense, yeah, yeah. life changing 
like experiences of my life as well. Yeah. Just, this yeah. is the this is the third time I was fired, which is really annoying. Like each time it's been for a stupid fucking reason. What's the worst one? What's the the worst one or the best one? How do you? It depends, depends on which what, way you want to classify it. Like yeah, for me, exactly, it's all the same. Yeah, yeah, it depends on which way you want to look at it. Um, one of the funniest ones for me uh, was. Um, I went out one night and I, I took a lot of uh, MDMA. Oh, and I why is there always <laughs> drugs involved? What happened? Yeah, yeah, there, like, the best stories come from the drugs. I mean, I <laughs> so, so I went out, I took a lot of MDMA. Um, I brought this girl home. Uh, I couldn't get it up. I had uh, Viagra. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, you got the pilly willy. Yeah, you got the pilly willy. Yeah, I had, the old, yeah I, had, I had a classic case of the old pilly willy, but... Um, I had the old classic blue tablet under my bed, so I was like, hang on, love, just give me a minute, I'm just going to go have a slash. I went and fucking fixed myself up, had, had, a, had a Viagra, and I um, <laughs> went back, got into it. She's like, is this normal? I'm like, yeah, totally. <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely normal. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, I've got to get up for work. I called my boss and I'm like, I've got a fucking rage up. I, I lived in a house full of girls at this time, and I... Um, I I like was too embarrassed to even oh, like geez. exit my bedroom door to go to the bathroom because I had the biggest fucking stiffy of my life. <laughs> so like basically I had to open the window. It was like a one of those like roller yeah, like yeah, yeah. up windows, like an old school one with the fucking rope. Very old house. So, yeah, yeah. so I had to lift the window up and just point my bone around and just kiss outside. <laughs> and, and I'm like, this Sorry, is, and the girl is still in the room. Yeah, yeah, she's still yeah. in the room. <laughs> Is this, is this still normal? <laughs> yeah, is it still normal? <laughs> How do you make this nice? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, this is not. This is nice. This is all natural. But this anyway, I, um, uh, she went out for a cigarette and left and whatever. And um, I, was on the, I got on the phone to my boss. I'm like, look, I'm going to be fucking honest with you, mate. Got the biggest bone around. I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, look. I'm not going to be an arsehole that's saying that I'm like hungover or like, you know, I went out last night. I did go out last night, but the reason I'm not coming in is because I'm calling in hard. And he goes, what? <laughs> he goes, right. uh, I took Viagra last <laughs> night and I've got the raging stiffy and I can't come into work. Oh, no, and he kidding. goes, that is the best excuse I've ever fucking heard. You're like applauding here. He's like, like that's the best excuse I've ever heard. Well, I did have a raise. Um, <laughs> Um, and he's just like, but you're still fucking sacked, mate. Like, ah, yeah. shit, he so still fired you. Oh, it's a shitty enough. job. That's well, it's kind of in between jobs. I just come back from. Um, I come back from. I just came back from India and Nepal at that time. So, but don't you reckon he should have covered for you? Like, <laughs> well, no, I don't really care. I think it's a funny story. It was a fiberglassing company. I was building fucking like swimming pools and spas and shit. So it was like, it was a shit job. Like, who was the tap out? It wasn't the best. Can't but Oh, no worries, yeah, but that one's that one's a fucking that was an absolute perler of the time. So one more time, what did you call like uh, Billy Willy? The, yeah. Oh, can so I just like? I had a classic it. case of um yeah of the googed dick, like, just a googie dick. Like, it was just a Billy Willy. Joker, may I ask you a question? Sure. Have you ever heard of a Billy Willy? A Billy Willy. Pilly. Yeah. A Pilly. Pilly, had, Pilly Willy. If you had to, if you had to think of what it might be, what is a Pilly Willy? A Pilly Willy. Like if you've had too many fucking googs, and it just <laughs> does it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. Like but to be fair, after that you actually took mm. a pill to make it work again, so it was well, again yeah, a Pilly Willy. Dude, I was fuck. I cock blocked myself major on my fucking thirtieth birthday. <laughs> Where's uh, she's not here? All right, sweet. So <laughs> fuck, man. I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll yeah, tell you. all right. Yeah, I, yeah. totally cock blocked myself in that situation. So tell the story. What happened? Oh, no, nah, don't worry. I'm going to roll. <laughs> it's, it's too long a story. Um, but yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I've had that experience before. And she yeah. was very understanding. She goes, oh, just, you know, like, just do it up the ass. I'm like, oh, no, no problem, no problem. And then stage fright and then fucking pilly willy, I guess is what it means. And she was like, I understand. It's okay. All right. And then she's, you know. Went down and uh, sorted me out. So got got through it, but it was fucking pretty hectic for a while. I was like, "Fuck, this is embarrassing. This is the moment of truth. I've always wanted this one person in this one particular place." Mm. And uh, but it's still fun. Okay, what's the I place? Was still then? What, what was the place? What? Because you focused on the place. A place? Yeah, you said I wanted this one person in this one oh, place. Oh, well, in my bed. Okay, fair <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> 
It doesn't. Yeah. It, there was a mattress and there was a pillow and there was a, a, a doona. So that's where I wanted her at that time. And yeah, finally got her. And then fucking Pilly Willy showed up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did I get that right? Is this what it is? It's yeah. When you, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this where it's not working enough? You've had too many fucking gooks, mate. Yeah. Like when yeah. you smashed ecstasy yeah. or like yeah. too much MD. It was. It was uh, like yeah. You got the old floppy Johnson yeah. going on. And the oh, thing really? is, like, I didn't care at the time. I was like, I'm having too much of a good time, so I really don't give a fuck. But she was so cool about it. It was all good. Hey, we have to wrap up, boys. Uh-oh. That's what we gotta, she we gotta, said. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> you got to wrap it up. Wrap it and tap it. Um, but, hey, um, we're going to do this again tomorrow. Probably. We can, we can do it whenever we want. We can just fucking you know, dial it in. Thanks. Tomorrow's um, Saturday, yeah? Yeah, it is. All right, so what's on tonight? What are we doing tonight? No, I let's know. see what happens. What do you want to do? See when I don't crazy. know. We'll mind smoking a joint at some point. Do you guys fancy a boat party? No, no. no. Karaoke. There we go again. Karaoke. <laughs> ah, see what happens. But you're going to a boat party tonight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what? You got one? You got some? No, <laughs> oh, none of you can't fucking. Don't look at me. Look, I'm no one from Amsterdam. <laughs> but it's not Amsterdam. <laughs> like, come on. Well, look. Um, yeah, you guys enjoy your boat party. Maybe tomorrow you can give us a review. Yeah, give us a bit of a, a rundown on what happens. Might have a bit of a lie in. <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna we can we can whip this out any we'll time tomorrow. We'll, 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 we'll try to be quiet when we come back in. Huh? We'll be quiet. When yeah. We come back. I mean, squeaky beds aside. Squeaky beds. Squeaky beds aside. Yeah, fucking squeaky beds. Squeaky beds. Maybe that's what we should what rename this place. Yeah. The squeaky, squeaky beds, beds <laughs> hostel. Yeah. Squeaky, squeaky beds. To be fair, you can't get bad reviews with that name. Like yeah. they yeah, can't exactly. complain. Like, For the busted bunk. <laughs> <laughs> Busted Bunk Hostel. That sounds like an STD. Oh, I, got the, I got the Busted Bunk. Like. Yeah. Pilly Willy Hostel. Yeah, <laughs> Whiskey. Pilly Welcome Willy. to the Busted, Busted Bunk. <laughs> you want to do a karaoke night? <laughs> Enjoy your well, stay. Let at least hope that you're still here tomorrow with us, that you don't yeah. like get fired again for any oh, reason. Right. Hopefully, right. yeah, hopefully you don't fucking get on too much LSD tonight and end up in fucking, I don't know, Bucharest. <laughs> yeah, we never know. <laughs> You know, it wouldn't be the worst thing. I don't know. Have you been to Bucharest? I haven't. No, I'd love to go. Fucking Romania is the most underrated country in the world, man. Nah, it's Albania, but that's a different topic. Albania? Different yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I've but heard different heard topic. Like, well, have you spoken to Stefan? The, well, you wouldn't have yet because you just got here. No, I don't think and so. And do you know Stefan, the Dutch guy who does all the art? He yes, sits there yeah, drawing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, ask him about Romania. He's got some stories. Yeah. Oh, fuck, has he got yeah, some no, stories? We'll get him in tomorrow. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, well, I want to get him on tomorrow because, dude, that guy, fucking hell. He uh, he says stuff that other people just think but never say. <laughs> and it's always good to have someone like that on the pod. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. How'd you enjoy thank it? You. Maxi? Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Oh. Beautiful. Joshi? Yeah, it was good. Joshi, no, is no, that my new name? Yoshi. Yoshi. Maybe it'll be Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. 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 Yeah. 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 Yoshi. That was my nickname for my New Zealand friends. They always end up working in some kind of Japanese name in our names. So I was Yoshi, and there was a few others with other fucking names. But yeah, Yoshi. Fair enough. I'll be Yoshi. All right. But today I've learned, don't call your boss up and announce you're stiffy, because you'll lose your job. Yeah. Is that what happened? I don't yeah. miss that. that happened, yeah, that's what happened one time to me. I, I called in hard. Like, <laughs> like cold in hard. Yeah. Was the pain is still after having a for you? <laughs> so let me, let me just put you on. Uh, can you just sort it? Can you just explain the situation? Oh, well, actually, I was like, I can't so get soft. here it is, guys. Like, we're so <laughs> fucking bored. You can't come in today and fiberglass for you. Fuck off. He's like, you're fired. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. He did give you a compliment first. Like, he said, yeah, he, he appreciated did, he did the say, honesty. Like, but the honesty, but, you know, he's like, wait a minute. Like, you got like, sacked for it. Yeah, you said it's the funniest excuse I've ever heard for not coming into work. But you're but sad. you're still sad. Oh, dude, why couldn't you go to work? Because your dick was too hard. Yeah, because I took fucking Viagra. But how's After having a Billy Willy. Functioning? After having I a Billy like Willy. I was like 22, 23 years old, mate. Like, it was like... I've never big. had that happen. I've, I've never had a Viagra, so I don't know the sensation. It does literally stay hard. As soon as you're aroused, yes, it's fucked. You feel like you've got, come down with the cold. You feel like you get the cold sweats first. And then all of a sudden, like, as soon as you're into it, it's just like, fuck, mate, you could put that thing through a brick wall. I like the sound of this. Can we get some tonight? <laughs> we actually have a Dutch word for it. It's called swaffle. It means. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. We are, we are putting that in the programming. That is fucking cold. I'll put it in tomorrow. All right, put it there's, in tomorrow. There's what is the thing? Smuffler. So, swaffle. But actually, swaffle. it's not completely the same thing because it means slapping your half 
uh, half erect, and this is important part of it, yeah. half erect dick against something. So literally, I, I'm out. <laughs> so literally, I'm out. <laughs> either against a person, but also against an object. For so, for example, there's people swaffling the the Eiffel Tower, the oh. uh, like the Grand Budapest is Hotel, it a, is whatever. It hash, it's, is it a hashtag? I'll I'll show you all about it. Not in Hashtags, that way. Like what is it? Swaffler. Swaffler. All right. Blue, I think that's a beautiful way to end it. The blue swaffler. <laughs> yeah. So swaffler. I got a new nickname. I finally got a nickname. The swaffler. swaffler. <laughs> Get the swaffler on. Oh, swaffles. Swaffles. <laughs> I think it's time to wrap up, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, look. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. This is Opesh. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. From the Sweet Hostel, otherwise known as the Squeaky Beds, the, <laughs> the Broken bu- the Busted, busted Bunks, bunks. or the, the, the Schwafflers United. <laughs> See you.